My favorite part of last episode might have been just bullying that hag in the bar. She was like so bipolar. She goes from like torturing this kid, traumatizing her. Five seconds later, oh my god, I can't believe I did this to you. I'm so sorry. She leaves. That child should die. Like the holy shit. It is just like give, give a couple fucking give me some time to let it go. You're all over the place. Toka again is such a such an edgy. <laughs> I don't know if edgy is the right word, but the way that he doesn't shy away from committing acts of horror onto those who truly deserves it, I love that, bro. No more of this fucking white knight cuck beta main character thinking about morals and ideals of, oh, I can't do this. It wouldn't be right. Shut the fuck up. Beach paralyzed and poisoned. What are we doing now? We're going off to find the Witch of Taboos in the land of the Golden Knight monsters, right? We have. The leopard girl, we have the dark elf girl, everything is gonna be fine. Most likely that girl, the dark elf girl, is connected to the taboo witch because they're both dark elves. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> right. This is the evil curse guild people that took credit for the dragoons going down and they're gonna be our last, I guess, antagonist before we, you know, actually go off to defeat the witch. Uh, I should be too, that's right. Oh, she got a mask on too. That's one for her. Oh, I should say Lord of the Flies. The Fly Swordsman, a sword into increase in the legend, Lord of the Flies. Is that what the mask is? Because like we had two masks, right? Because Toka has a dark one and Saras gets the white one. I don't want to join. Let's go Stolen Valor. They're still taking credit, bro. Come on, have some fucking shame. Bruh, come on. It's a bait. It's a bait. This is all Toka's plan. In today's episode, I'll try my best to not get baited because I like I have my guard down and Toka's like acting and I'm like, no way. And then it's like, oh my god, I got baited again. <laughs> Dark plot missing. A hero from another world once declared the guild evil and exterminated it. Probably not our generation of heroes from the past. Okay, <laughs> Oh, that's Curse magic. Ooh, you got poison arrows. Ooh, you got curse magic. Shut the fuck up. You role playing, bro. You're actually LARPing. Wait until they see what an actual user of curse magic looks like. <laughs> Special techniques. Curse magic, my ass. Yeah. Because our poison is beyond understanding, because something about Toka Mimori's powers even scares the goddess, therefore they can just fucking claim it and no one will ever question. But oh man, I can't wait to poison them, man, today. Oh my god. Alright, watching headsets. One second. Let's go. At least he's being honest now. Alright. That's so true. In this world without any proof, those with the loudest claim take all. That is very true, man. Are you gonna assassinate the duke afterward? Wait, wait, wait. And then while assassinating those who get in your way. Yeah, the duke is the, the fat guy from last episode that didn't want Eve to have a fair battle. In the forest. No Toka mentioned. Oh, she's taking the helmet off. Ooh. Wait, but if you say that as a witness, 
no one will believe you. But if, I, I don't know, like declaring that you are the one that survived also just puts a target on your back. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm sure it's all part of the plan. Because he was killed with poison. Bald! Oh. Strongest siblings, man. This one has hair. Okay. Oh, we already killed them. We'll just take you out. Toka will just paralyze poison. I don't know if him yapping like this and just explaining everything is a good idea. Like, are you sure? An art of all assassins masters. Like, y y you are literally leaking. Like, I don't think you should be getting so like ahead of yourself, man. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toka, where you at? Again. Again. Just this show's villains are always just the most uninspiring, such lazy writing. Oh, but Koko TV, please! The author has a good reason for why all the villains are rapey and creepy. Shut the fuck up and take a step back and realize that who created the reason the author did. Just, just... Think outside a box for once. I know it's hard for you to think beyond your next fucking five seconds worth of like attention, but just realize that the author has created that reason. It's not like it has to fucking exist, bro. It's lazy writing. It's all part of the plan, right? It's your time now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, all through Piggy Marusums too. We can do long range shit. <laughs> Detachment? <laughs> At least they're very aware. <laughs> While you were blabbing away, we already took care of them. You were yapping for way too long, bro. Poison. <laughs> 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 like, that's kind of funny. The levels of like mind games here with that branch right because that branch was intentionally broken right to make it seem like we went that way but he took the bait knowing that it is a bait but the purpose of this bait wasn't that you know what i mean he thought that he knew ahead but we actually made him think that way and it still worked out it's like layers of layers of mind games Baitception. だから最初に違和感を与え、その違和感の謎を解くと自分が絶対に正しい感こそ思考を麻痺させる独特化。Oh. <笑> It's not over yet. The first group returned. Oh, Piggy's tired after that form, the assault form. You gonna go fuck up the people that's returning? Basically, figure out. Here goes Eve. Sight! Look at that. It's so OP. It, it, it is so fucking OP, bro. That huge AoE just paralyzed. Like, what the hell, man? I know his power's been OP from the beginning, but like, god damn, there is just no challenge. Poison. <laughs> Poor horses. Paralyzed poison. Let Eve have it. Paralyzed poison will be too boring against the Duke. Come on, let Eve have this. Ew. You know what? 
At least this one isn't like rapey. This insult is actually kind of raw. He's saying like, I will skin you and then have the dark elf girl wear your skin like a jacket so you'll be happily ever together after. That's actually pretty... That's actually fucking hard, man. I spoke too soon. Yep, there, there, there it is. Yep. Went. What did I expect from a show like this? They do... You got me. You got me in the first half. Wait, what? Okay. This is a limitation, finally. I'm sure if you level this up, maybe the limitation will go up, but there's 80 at most that we can paralyze at once. Blinded. Easy. Yo. The blade going down like that. Oh. One more time. Dude, that's so crazy. I see you, Eve. Eve, you get someone else, guy. Never cross it. Throw it. Nice shot. We can paralyze more now. He's helping us out now. Oh, thank you, bro. I won't allow any of you to run. Watson, run away soon. We should make him berserk right now. That'd be even funnier. Nice. <laughs> you think you're getting away, bro? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be dumb as fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I am genuinely impressed at the lack of CGI so far. And maybe that was their game plan the entire time. To keep our expectations so low by introducing shitty CGI. And when an episode like this happens, they'll have no CGI to make it seem like, wow, it's amazing. When at the end of the day, this should be the base fucking minimum. <laughs> you know what I mean? But regardless, this episode so far, production value wise, no jarring CGI to like give me a whiplash. I guess we can't show the elf girl the body. Don't look! Oh,我がフリーズ。バカげた行動を持って効率化になるが、死体などは物体と判定され。何をしようというのだ。このスキルを使えば。死体を残さず。こいつらはこのまま永遠に押し付けさせてもらおうと思ってな。呪いの不存在は誰も証明できない。あはあ。前たちの存在も誰も証明できない。足とか姿を消したんだと。現場に残されていたのはあいつらを手
これからはあなたが心を許せる人の言葉だけセラス様のお言葉を自分に染み込ませたいです私もあなたと会話する時間お姉ちゃんができたみたいダークエルフ has a light elf big sister now 見張りは私がしておきますのでどうぞお休みになってくださいいや目が覚えて眠れこの上でしたら安眠できるかもしれません<笑>ラピロ疲れているのはお前も同じだろ Get on his lap She will She fast as fuck, bro. Maybe, but. Dude, Seras is so damn bad. Oh. Tickle, tickle, tickle. The ears are an aerogenous zone. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be very sensitive. What do you mean, special feeling? You asking me if I'm horny for them? Nah, no, I'm horny for you only, Sarah. I don't, I'm, I'm not gentle with you? Oh, okay, okay. Ants. They're good ants. Right. Liz's like you. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. He's aware. Again, I love how aware he is, right? He's not trying to masquerade as a fucking white knight. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing is bad. But still, these fuckers deserve it, and I'm here to, you know, deliver that. Vicious alliance goddess. Will you fuck me? She's straight up gonna ask for that, bro. She will. She's so down bad. Surprised she didn't try to you know, spike his drink with the aphrodisiac. What's going on here? Oh, new girls? No, no, no. Old girls. Is this the same girl that licked Vicious's feet that one episode, or am I thinking of someone else? Because I remember there was that girl there. I can't remember if it was her. Was this Nyantan? Yeah, it was her, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And this is the rom com girl, right? That obviously is good spirits, but Vicious fucking hates her. Secretly training her. ニャンタン。どうして稽古の話を受けてくれたんですか。少し君が妹に好きを見せようものなら、あっという間に暴力と陰謀のエジキとなります。覚えて。見栄え重視と思われますが、物語。ありがとうございます。どうか様。ナイ
つまりレベルアップには意味がある。餌にしてやる。ああ。皆さんのレベルも驚くほど上がりました。Yo, who the fuck is... Yo, who are these girls, man? Oh my god, on the left side? You forget Nianta. Who is this MILF wizard girl? Okay, Kitty Addis group. <laughs> Basically, the popular kids group, the school shooters group. And then, kind of like the outcasts, right? This group is like the losers, the neutrals and the losers, right? School shooters, popular elites, and just losers here. Oh! Oh, I like this group. I, no, 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 no. I don't like this group. No, 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 no. I thought it was the two sisters. Remember? There is the two sisters. Was that a raid? The fuck? I didn't see the raid. What just happened? Oh, shit. Faxity. Hey, what's going on, my man? Thank you so much. I didn't get to see it. I was, I was too locked in looking at some wizard titties, but uh, here. Boom, boom, boom. Guys, please go check out Mr. Faxity, too. I think they are doing like some fu fucking like fat subathons and shit, so. Hope you guys had a good stream. Right now, we're watching Failure Frame. After this, it's, it's almost done. We're watching Fate Zero and then Re Zero. Hope you guys enjoyed that shit. Let's continue. But yeah, I was like, talking about how this is the shitty group where this girl is kind of abusing the girls, right? And then there's another girl that actually is into Toka. But beyond that, there's like the two sisters, remember? There's like two sisters that are super based that I'm looking for. <laughs> These, these, these. <laughs> I love how they, I love how the Taco sisters are just their own group. Everyone else have their own fucking like leader and like a bunch of people following. The sisters are just duo queuing by themselves, bro. The sisters look OP. Yeah. The four saints. Mm. <laughs> Definitely, I want, I want to be trained by this one for sure. Absolutely, bro. Ah, a bunch of geezers, bro. I don't want like, these dudes. What? At this time, we've conferred the Great Demon's Empire forces are making a major. Is she Kevin? He's like, remember, Golden Eye has to do with the essence of the Demon Lord. I, I think that she's fucking Kevin, man. She's probably just making excuses, right? She might as well be the fucking Demon Lord. Alright, whatever you say. <laughs> the loser group, bro, just having a fucking mental breakdown. No, we can't fucking do this. Uh, these are pretty neutral. The kitty how to screw this fucking bully guy. This is fucking sociopath. So he's happy about this show. But like, uh, damn, like Ayaka's group is it's pretty whack. All right. Like, like, come on. We got the stragglers. I like the sisters, though. Let's go base sisters. Yeah, they need actual experience now. This is it. This is the point of convergence. We're gonna meet with them. It's gonna be power fantasy. Oh my god. Five. How many episodes are there left? Ah, shit. We have like three-ish episodes, right? 10, 11, 12. Maybe there's 13, but like... In those episodes, can we have, like, peak power fantasy of us shitting on the classmates? Like, please, give me it. post Chrissy. White chocolate cookie? Chocolate? Yeah, I mean, like, the concept of chocolate probably doesn't even exist back then, right? Like, back then, like, even seasoning, like, salt and pepper is super rare. Like, he just pours mana into the bag. Before, it was a flashlight, but it also, like, provides food randomly. So it's like the white chocolate biscuits from there. White chocolate cookie. <laughs> That's the post credit scene? <laughs> and that is today's episode of Failure Frame, and honestly, last couple episodes... Like, it all started when we got here, and Sarah's Ash Rain had the... Uh, most thirstiest, like, uh, <laughs> episode. You remember trying to get the aphrodisiac and shit? But ever since then, the animation quality has definitely been improved. And, like, the fight scenes, it's nothing extravagant, right? There's a lot of fucking yapping. It's more of, like, I don't know, shitting on the villain through even more villainous moves and then having a power fantasy like that. Just being able to paralyze and poison 
does get boring for sure. Paralyzed has a cap now of 80 people that we didn't know about, so that's a limitation, but definitely there is something uh, less exciting when you know you can just paralyze and sleep and fucking poison. So maybe against the humans, right? With the Kitty at its party in them. I wonder if they have some sort of cleanser, if they're like immune to, you know, debuffs. We'll see exactly how that's going to happen, but it's looking like everything is going to convert at the land of the monsters. They're being sent there because they don't have actual combat experience. They have leveled up a lot. Their stats are good, but they have no practical experience. Well, Toka has been thrown into just the fray from the beginning, right? He got thrown into the fucking volcano to just survive, so he has fucking everything. It'll be really interesting to see just how different the gap in the power is between Toka and the rest of the crew, but that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.